welcome back and welcome to a slightly non-book related video um, but there's been a lot of talk on Facebook and Twitter and just people in general kind of summing up and reviewing their 2016, their year in review. Um, I've done a couple of bits towards this on the blog, I've done my sort of top 10 books of the year um, and I wanted to do a blog post and accompanying video of just all the really good things that happened to me in 2016. You know, there's been a lot of sort of high profile celebrity deaths, there's been Brexit, there's been the election in the US, all of which I seem to have managed to be a part of. And um, so people are talking about what a rubbish year it's been, but actually 2016 was a really good year for me. So if I start right at the beginning of the year, I began 2016 with a brand new job as an assistant head teacher, um, and that's something that I'd wanted to do for ages. It had always been my aim in teaching to get into the senior leadership team, and to be able to have got there after kind of seven and a bit years of teaching was really, you know, an, an achievement for me, and it was a new challenge for me, and I got a new class and a new team to manage, and so that was really exciting, and so January started off really Really pretty well for me. It was an insane amount of work and so I didn't sleep much in January but still I was reveling in this achievement of this brand new job. Then February came along and exciting thing number two happened. Firstly I went to Denver for the first time in February. Um, that's when Ollie moved out here and so I came to visit him and we spent Valentine's Day together and then at the very end of February, on the 29th of February, um, I proposed to him and he said yes and so that was very exciting. Um, he was back to sort out some visa stuff and um, we went out for a meal in Windsor and had a little walk and uh, I got down on one knee in the cold February drizzle <laughs> and he said yes so that was you know thing number two that was very exciting for me at the beginning of 2016 um, and then thing number three in July um, my best friend had a baby and um, she was born in July and uh, this was a baby that had been wanted and tried for for a long time and so it was really exciting um, that, you know, she was pregnant and she had this baby and it, that was just a wonderful thing that happened halfway through the year and I was actually able to meet her before the next exciting thing that I'm going to talk about happened. So, uh, exciting thing number four for me in 2016 was uh, leaving my job and my family and my friends behind and moving here to Denver um, to live here now. Um, so I moved in August, I left my job in July, we went on holiday and then I moved over here in August. Ollie came back over and sort of helped with the last few things in the house. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I moved <coughs> 5,000 miles away and uh, now live in sunny Denver, which is really exciting. I live here now, that's really quite weird. I'm still in the process of sorting out all the visa stuff that allows me to work. I'm just here on a visitor visa because I just wanted to move. Um, and yeah, and then uh, the last thing that happened was November. I mean, November was such a massive month. I took part in and won NaNoWriMo. I cooked my first Thanksgiving dinner and both of our parents came over to visit us and see Denver. And uh, we got married. Um, having proposed in February, nine months later, we got married in Vegas in November. It was a perfect ceremony. I am going to put it up here on YouTube. I just, we're still playing about with the video a bit uh, and I will be doing a blog post with some pictures as well. So I know I keep saying that, but yeah, so 2016's been quite an exciting year for me. I also turned 32, which you know, and 32 is my favourite number. Ollie turned 30, so that's exciting as well. So it's just been lots of exciting things that have happened to us in 2016. As I say, I've got a blog post on this as well, um, which kind of shows things month by month, but very very exciting time for me i'm sorry it's been rubbish for everyone else but i really like 2016 and these things were all really exciting so uh yeah sorry for the non-book related video but i just wanted to kind of give you my year in review and share all the very exciting things that happened to me this year and things that are still sort of ongoing and 
still being exciting so I will have another more book related video for you soon so I hope you're having a great day bye